Another rookie, Christelle Bouillon, the Dutch girl, praised Brittany Linsicum. Here's Christelle Bouillon, the Dutch rookie. This at the par five second for birdie. That's a way to start. Let's hold it from off the green almost. That is a fantastic putt there for the rookie. Second Linsicum follow Bouillon into this second with a birdie four. That is a great reply from Brittany there. True competitor. Short third hole, Bouillon off the back of that brilliant birdie at the last. She's just such a phlegmatic character. She just talks slowly, seems very calm, and it's going to be uh, interesting to see how she reacts today as well. Quietly sneaky, maybe. Mm. To win the third. Yeah! You won't see too much emotion on her face, but she must be beaming with pride inside after that start. I know her caddy is. He gets quite emotional out there, Andy. Bouillon, seen some terrific putts from her already. This to win the fifth. She's got it. Head down. She is charging like a bull. Up against Brittany Linsicum as well. One of uh, America's star players this year on the LPGA Tour. She's won twice. And uh, Linsicum looking to knock the one back in, and she's done so. Never a doubt there. That ball was in all the way. Currently two down to Crystal Bouillon. Say play is going on, so, but uh, not looking positive with you see water like that on the greens. Must be that some greens are not as underwater as others. Brilliant start from Bouillon. Very impressive from a player who has played a couple of matches in this Soham Cup, not come out on top. She's won this season on the Ladies European Tour in Turkey. And she's played pretty well when she's played on the LPGA Tour as well. Seems to have her blinders on today. Brittany Lintercombe. For birdie. That looks good. That does look good. She's playing against Christelle Bouillon. And that's a hole back for the American. Now one down to the girl from the Netherlands. Highlighting your point, Mickey, about some of the collection areas where that flag's cut. And look at this screen, virtually dry. If it had been straight, it wouldn't have gone in. No, no. I think even though that with all this moisture, it doesn't seem to have affected the pace of the putts. I mean, these greens are still maintaining their pace. Don't blame him. I mean, <laughs> our camera people are doing incredible jobs out there to give you pictures at all. That just about says it all. The current state of affairs then. Good news for European fans. I'm here with Crystal Bouillon. Uh, Crystal, you're one up after nine holes or on the ninth fairway. How are you feeling it's going so far? Um, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm actually loving the weather. I think, uh, you know, my golf game is feeling good and uh, I'm really enjoying myself out there. So uh, I can't wait to, to go back up. I know you were pretty gutted, obviously, not to get a game the first day. Did that spur you on yesterday and today or has, has it not really made any difference? You're just carrying on the way you normally do? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, of course, it's, it's no fun to not go out on the first day. Uh, you know, I'm here to bring my game, so uh, I want to play in every match. match but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the captain's pick and, uh, you know, I support it all the way through and uh, I played all right yesterday and uh, today it's going, going even better, so, yeah. And it looks like most of our players are feeling nice and fresh. I mean, Ali's given a lot of people a rest, which obviously is not always not what players want, but on a day like today, it could work out really well. Exactly. It's, it's really important. The days are so long and uh, playing a lot of golf, so uh, we have to rest up. I think it's a smart, uh, smart decision and uh, I think everyone, um, 
yeah, it's thankful for that, really. Yeah. Okay, Crystal, best of luck. Thank you. All right. All smiles from Cristal, the first player from the Netherlands to take part in the Solheim Cup and got her long overdue victory on the Ladies European Tour. She won the Turkish Open this year. It's a good uh, half the hole against Bouillon. Stage just one down. But I love the attitude of Bullion when she was interviewed earlier by Trish and she talked about the weather. She said, I love it. I mean, who really would love that weather? I had the pleasure of sitting next to her at the gala dinner the other night and, and you just get the impression, I think you probably know her better than I do, Richard. She just nothing phases her. She's going to go out there, play her game and uh, come what may, she's, she's going to put up a fight. Nobody's going to walk all over her. Mexico. We have two putts to win the 11th. Just to tighten things up in her match against Crystal Bullion. Well, got two, take two. So interesting, isn't it, match play? On paper, this shouldn't be a contest. Brittany Lindsay come ninth in the world. Crystal just really starting out in her career. You had your little weather app, and you did say that there were some, within the green bits that were rain, there were some dark green bits that was the stuff to worry about, and I, I guess that's where we are now. I saw it this morning, and, and you know, the yellow you worry about, there's a little bit of lightning in there. Now. The likes of uh, Bouillon and uh, Carolyn Hedvall, can they handle that pressure coming down the stretch? Bouillon seems to be doing great, and her attitude whenever you, you know, interview her, she's just game on. She said, I am ready, I am ready to play. I want to play and in fact she was annoyed that they came in because she knew the momentum that she had she didn't want to lose it so she just has great fire great passion and, and I think she's found her groove right now and that's what she didn't want to lose. And Christelle Bouillon is, is one up at the moment uh, playing Brittany Linscombe. What advice, Janice, would you give as a rookie in this situation? In looking at her, I don't think I need to give her any advice. She has game face on. I mean, I think she is just really, really determined and she knows what she needs to do. And that is just, if she can hit these fairways, hit these greens, make pars, let Brittany make the mistakes. Julian at the 16th, up and over the ridge to win the hole. It's for a two. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? Back to the 16th, Brittany Lincecum for her par. So the worst she'll be is one down. She might have a look at Christelle Bullions. I think she will. Bully, I've not quite got this. Oh, no. Not quite sure. Now well, that's finished. Maybe bunkered. Bullion second did finish in a bunker, 17. Very good shot. Brittany Lincecum is on the green in two. So she has a birdie putt to come. Everything's crucial, wherever you look now. It is, it's getting to that stage, isn't it? Must be nervous. What a good up and down that was. Nerves of steel from the youngster. Brilliant. Still one up, one to play for Bullion. Come on, Crystal. Let's have it in the fairway. Yeah. Oh. 
I've got the greatest admiration for Crystal because playing against Brittany Lensicum, she's giving up so much yardage. 14 and a half points to win the Solheim Cup. The USA need two more points. But Bouillon has fought like a tiger in her match. Still one up against Brittany Lensicum. A bit of mud in the ball as well. That's not going to help. Uncertainty because of the mud. She's got a tailwind and she's got the pressure of the Solheim Cup. Might go back this. It might go back and be very good. It's only a stunner. What a shot by the Dutch woman. First Dutch woman ever to play in the Solheim Cup, and what a good account of herself she's given. That was just quite simply fabulous. Go, USA! Woo! That was great. Oh, that was <laughs> Brittany Lincecum has to believe that that's missable, so she must make a three. No likey. She'd love to hold it and make her opponent butt. This does come from the right for Brittany Lincecum. Up and over a hump. Same putt that Stacey Lewis had. Going to be good enough for Brittany Lincecum. I would think yeah! an embrace and a concession, and that is a wonderful win for Christelle Bouillon. Left out in the first day by Captain Alison Nicholas, but what about that? And great figures, Rob. If she'd have held that putt, she'd have been two under par for the round, which in those circumstances on this course is just fantastic. One of the shorter hitters out of the 24 players here, and that just shows incredible inner strength. And she's just gone out, stuck to a game. That is a wonderful win by the young Dutch woman. Look at the score, 12 and a half to Europe, 12 and a half to the United States. Well, the latest point to come in has come from the youngster, Christelle Bouillon, two up over Brittany Lincecum. She's talking to Tim. Crystal, you just won your first Solheim Cup point when Europe really needed one. Describe how that feels. It's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, I don't think I've ever been so nervous playing the last couple of holes, but uh, I kept it together. I had a great last uh, shot on, on 18. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I can contribute to the team and uh, hopefully we can get a few more. How emotional is this moment for you and how much will your country be proud of you? Is this the first time that the Netherlands have had a representative? Uh, it's unbelievable. I'm getting tears in my eyes, but uh, yeah, it means a lot. Um, everyone's here supporting me. That's, uh, yeah, they believe in me, so it's, it's awesome. Congratulations, fabulous playing. Thank you. Do you know, I want to say bless her. Just bless her. It is tough as you're a, when you're a youngster and you come into something that you've never experienced before. And to, to win your first point this week in the style that she did it as well, going all the way up the last. That is a massive achievement, beating Brittany Lincecum. She's the only American, only two Americans in the team have won this year. Brittany Lincecum has won twice. She's a major winner. She was giving up masses of length to her. That's an incredible achievement to win that point. 